celebrated the 57th uh, Foundation Day of uh, Indian Institute of Packaging, IIP, which has headquarters in Mumbai and uh, five other regional offices across the country. This is a great day for us where we have reflected upon uh, the past and the present position and what we intend to do for future. As part of the celebration, uh, a panel discussion is being held right now on the sustainable packaging. The chief guest of the IIP Foundation Day is uh, the Vice Chancellor of uh, uh, Govind Singh in the first uh, University Delhi, Guru Govind Singh in first uh, University Delhi. And uh, we have had uh, the Global Ambassador of the World Packaging Organization as a special guest. And the keynote speaker is Mr. Tapadia, one of the IIP alumni, very proud to share, who has made it big in the industry of packaging. So we have assembled and we have uh, thought about uh, how the way forward should be and how the imprint of IIP should be increased across the country. Uh, we, have have, we have signed uh, five uh, memorandum of understanding MOUs with uh, NIFTEM uh, in Kundli and uh, Tanjaur and uh, Tamil Nadu Agriculture, uh, Veterinary Agriculture Science University, Tanuvas and uh, Bihar Agriculture University, Sabor, Bhagalpur and uh, the Northeast Handloom uh, Handicraft Development Corporation which is the Government of India concerned. So these MOUs have been signed today which is a momentous day for us and uh, we intend to collaborate more strongly with the industry so that the skill set which is being uh, imparted to the students of IIP and the collaboration that is with the industry leads to a better packaging future for the country. Packaging, as you know, is a very, very important part of any uh, trade or consumer uh, movement. Uh, we have been growing very well. Even in the COVID period, the growth has been more than 15%. And uh, IIP is at the forefront of uh, the packaging industry in the country. Uh, we uh, are uh, the body which uh, uh, hands over the awards on the national level, India PAC. And uh, I'm very happy to share that in the World PAC, uh, Inter PAC uh, uh, award, uh, global awards. India has stood third this time. This is the highest ranking of India as far as awards are concerned behind Japan and Australia. Uh, in that sense, it's a period in which a lot of opportunities are there and we can grow together and uh, our e contribution to the economy can be quite substantive going forward. IIP has been uh, entering into other kind of collaborations with the state governments. We have signed one MOU in January with the Kerala government uh, for the hand holding and capacity building in the area of packaging of the small farmers there in Kerala. Similarly in Odisha and Madhya Pradesh and Meghalaya, Jammu Kashmir, Jharkhand, Bihar. We have been moving forward and uh, taking projects. Uh, IIP has developed uh, for the one district, one product uh, scheme of the Government of India, many uh, uh, packaging designs which have been appreciated across the country. Today we have released a coffee table book on uh, ODOP, that is one district, one product designs and uh, the achievements of IIP in that regard. And uh, going forward we look at IIP's future of reaching out to the far corners of the country and helping the packaging professionals and the industry at the same time. Can you bring the criteria for the award ceremony which was just Award ceremony, there is a jury which, uh, which invites, uh, the awards are, uh, nominations are invited and across the categories, there are various categories, small consumer, uh, consumer goods, sustainable packaging and so on. And there is an established jury uh, established by, uh, formed by IIP which uh, grades these, uh, 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 these cat entries on uh, various categories. And as you can see outside this uh, media briefing room, there are uh, packaging which have been awarded. They have been displayed in the shelves. I would suggest that you have a look at them and uh, see what has been appreciated across the globe. Thank you. So what is the export potential of the packaging industry for the Indian uh, industry? Packaging material export is a separate uh, thing altogether. Packaging is important aspect of the export goods altogether. That is the consumer goods or even the things which you think that will not require too much of packaging. 
packaging are two aspects one is transportation transportability that is the safe transportation taking into account the severe conditions of transport on the ships how much uh, will be the movement on the ships in the containers and the tough uh, heat conditions and uv rays and so on so all those factors have to be taken into account to ensure that the safe transportation of the goods takes place food grains pharmaceuticals anything you name that will require a sufficient and adequate packaging and the other is the packaging in such a manner so that the consumer is attracted and ensured of a good quality of goods inside the package so the export market india's growth is dependent on proper packaging that has to be understood by every exporter and therefore iip's endeavor is to organize as such kind of workshops where the budding exporters can be provided sufficient uh, assistance and uh, as far as exporting the packaging material is concerned that is also a growing market but right now the focus has to be on ensuring that whatever is exported from india that is packaged in a sufficient and adequate manner green what is the current size of the uh, uh, market of uh, off hand i cannot really comment on the size of the market right now but as for the studies are concerned this is growing at a 15% growth which is uh, more than what is the national growth right now so this is an industry which is a sunshine industry which is a budding industry and uh, the future is very bright for the packaging industry what about the jobs in the industry industry as i said if the growth of the packaging industry is 15% the jobs are pouring in because every small uh, manufacturer or exporter would require at least one packaging uh, technologist so that his machines are uh, uh, processed in a, or uh, tackled in a proper and efficient manner and therefore we are seeing a lot of demand from the for the courses that we are doing we are going to start a new course in i uh, in iip ahmedabad where the post graduate diploma in packaging will be provided since uh, from august this year and we are planning to increase uh, the footprint and the outreach of iip Are you tying up with the private players also? Yeah, it has a very strong uh, industry connect. This is one of the first examples of the public-private partnership. When the term was not in vogue in 1960s, the government of India, with the help of industry bodies, started this IIP. So, as you can understand, this IIP was established itself with the proper involvement of the industry, because no packaging institute can function in vacuum. this requires this requires many industrial visits our packaging uh, programs has an uh, has a built in intern program where everybody has to do an internship in the during the course of the program itself that is the course itself so the industry is uh, uh, connected with iip in many manners the one is that we provide the certification for un dangerous drugs united nations dangerous drugs whenever drugs uh, dangerous goods are being exported those require packaging which has to be certified as uh, as per un standards so iip is a body which certifies those goods so there is a industry connect there the next is that other testings are done by iip the third is that we have r and d and <coughs> consultancy program where industry presents its problems we have visits to the industry where my officers and the faculty members go and assess what are the problems being faced by a particular industry as far as developing a proper packaging is concerned and based on that assessment we try to understand the problem and then come up with a solution so that the exporter or a domestic uh, player itself is able to get a proper proper packaging solution so that is the third one and the last one is that internship all my uh, students are getting placed and uh, that is that shows the success of the programs that are being uh, uh, provided by the iip and the internships the feedback from the industry is very very strong our alumni network is very strong and that is assisting the institute there is a, a synergy between the alumni and the and the in institute we have uh, reenergized that program of alumni participation and uh, my alumni right now are in a decision making process over the last 50 years the people have grown up the ladder and are contributing a lot to the packaging industry across the globe and especially in india do you also have any refresher courses 
because the industry keeps changing every five years. So yeah. Packaging everything. So changes. based on the needs of industry, we tailor make the industry specific refresher courses, which may be from one to seven days. Because if you are a professional, if you are professional, then seven days is more than enough to brush up whatever latest has happened and come up with new techniques. So that that depends on the needs of the industry, and we are totally geared to answer to them. So, what kind of support do you give to new players? For the uh, startup, the government has uh, advised uh, IIP to come up with uh, a program for startups, which is in the making right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy Foundation Day to all. And a special day today. What is the occasion? Good morning, all my friends from Princeton Media. My name is Shekhar Ambedkar. I am Assistant Director and Head of International Packaging Center for Indian Institute of Packaging, Mumbai. Today, we are here for celebration of our 57th Foundation Day. The Institute has been instituted and as one of the best PPP model by public-private partnership in 1966 by Ministry of Commerce and Industry Government of India. And we are still under the administrative control of our parent ministry, which is Ministry of Commerce and Industry Government of India. On the occasion of this commemoration of 57th Foundation Day, we have initiated and executed MOUs with one of the top five institutes and universities from India for collaborative programs in packaging, design, and development. We have also been instrumental since last 57 years for producing world-class packaging professionals who are making India proud across the globe. We have also recently announced that India has stood in top three positions in the World Star Awards after Germany and Australia, which is the highest achievement ever. The World Star Awards are being organized by the World Packaging Organization, and they accept the nominations of the national award winning entries from India. India Star Award is the only national level award which is recognized by the World Packaging Organization, and IIP plays a pivotal role for sending nominations from India to World Star Awards. In last week, 7th of May 2023, the World Star Awards have been conducted by the WPO at Dusseldorf, Germany, where India was awarded with 18 number of awards, which is highest ever after Germany and Australia. India was also recognized as one of the highest nomination sending countries, where IIP had sent 50 nominations, which is highest in the history of any country. Thank you. It's a matter of great emotion for all packaging stakeholders. Indian Institute of Packaging is synonymous for the packaging in India. It's a worldwide renowned institute. I'm so happy to be associated with this for more than 25 years by now. The Foundation Day today, and in fact, the last time it was a Golden Jubilee celebration, we have Dr. Mashelkar and the Governor, Honorable Dr. Vidyasagar Rauji were there on the eve of 50th Golden Jubilee, which I was a chairman of Golden Jubilee at that time. But today, it's a great day. The Indian Institute of Packaging has signed MOS with six renowned universities, Pan India, a great collaboration for the knowledge sharing and also the research in packaging for new developments and innovations. And also, it has become a platform for merging the knowledge, the industry, the academia, and the aluminum. And it's a great platform today. It's a matter of great pride for all of us to be associated. Sir, you've already been a part of this industry and the organization as an office bearer. So what is the development and the progress you've seen in the organization under you and now, sir? As you rightly said, Indian Institute of Packaging has uh, come a long way. And... Uh, since 96, I have been associated in various positions. And today, I take a real pride. Today, I am also representing World Packaging Organization, where we call better quality of life through better packaging for more people is our mission statement. I am the proud executive board member representing India and Asia 
and the WPO and the Indian Institute of Packaging, we value it as one of our highly respectable uh, member, not only just because it has sent thousands of alumni all over the world, they are representing uh, the industry in a decisive positions. It gives enormous uh, uh, scope for education and also the startups and, and the industry. I think IAP is the nodal agency for India when you talk about packaging. Sir, uh, tell us about the historic significance of these MOUs that we have signed today. Yeah. See, for anything, you all need cooperation and collaboration. So all these institutes, be it the agricultural universities or the NIFTEM or any other in, uh, universities, they're all great in their respect to areas. But wh what is common for all of them? The packaging. Packaging is common for each and every nuke of life for, for us, be it agriculture, food, pharmaceuticals, automobile, uh, or fertilizers, any sector you take, e-tail, retail, FMCG, CPG, all the sectors packaging is common. So to, felicitate, to facilitate the people with a better packaging for the better living, I think we had this MOIs with all the universities wherein they contribute in their respective sectors, where uh, the, their knowledge quotient together with the packaging, how better we can provide uh, a better packaging for all the respective products. I think it has come a long way and this will go a long way definitely. All these MOUs will pave a way for a better life for the ultimate the consumer. This Sir, is what, what we is feel. What is the way forward? What is the future you foresee for IIP? Definitely, IIP, IIP educates and follows the sustainability. Today, sustainability is a way of life. It is not a mandatory. Honorable uh, Modiji's uh, leadership has provided a regulation for the EP, EPC, Extended Producer uh, gui Guidelines already. Wherever the high littering and low value, uh, the single-use plastic has already been banned. And also, it has called for using a maximum number of maximum weightage of recycled plastic into that, condemning the total use of uh, virgin plastic and also encouraging the recycling. I think as a common citizen, we also have to follow these guidelines, which ultimately make the India more sustainable. Being the leader now, the G20 this year, I think this also has gone a long way. Today, I saw Honorable Minister Sri Piyush Goyalji has tweeted the importance of the packaging and also the uh, blessed the uh, conveyed his wishes on this uh, auspicious foundation day of the IAP, who is also responsible for the Ministry of Commerce of India. I think that that shows volumes that uh, how the government of India also is definitely dedicated for working out towards the circularity, towards a best uh, better sustainable world also. And packaging is the best tool for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How does it feel today at the 57th Foundation Day of IIP, sir? Yeah, it really gives me a great pleasure and uh, feel I feel very proud that uh, I am a chairman of IIP Hyderabad, the renowned institute, and serving the society uh, the, without packaging, as everybody knows that without packaging there is no life in nowadays. Actually, we are in 21st century and uh, the packaging day to day, it, it uh, touches every uh, second of our life. So I really feel privileged to have be a member of IIP and especially IIP Hyderabad. We are doing wonders over there and we are uh, as a part of IIP India is one of the most prominent uh, center uh, out of seven uh, in centers. IIP Hyderabad also is a very you know, renowned uh, the center for IIP. So what do you foresee for packaging in India, sir? What is the future? The packaging is not only in India, but globally packaging is having a very good future and we, we, we don't have any doubt of that. The, without packaging, there is no life. So the packaging and especially Indian Institute of Packaging, as you have raising some concerns over there, there is no nothing to worry about the Indian Institute of Packaging. It is going to be there and it, it will de definitely emerge as as of uh, the IITs, IIMs, it, at par with IIMs, IIPs. IIT, IIP will be there uh, in future. Thank you, sir. Thank you.